Afternoon guys, afternoon, hope you're all doing well. Um, I thought I would um, kind of analyze uh, this chart as it's quite interesting uh, for several reasons. Um, the first thing I wanted to kind of talk about is um, is just uh, keep in mind, guys, I know um, we're waiting for, you know, trades to, you know, to, to set up and pullbacks. But um, one of the things that you might want to do is um, try to trade around fair value. Now, there's uh, several, uh, at, and I say fair value at a bare minimum. And so there's several different ways to kind of uh, establish, you know, where fair value um, and bargain prices, of course, which is the best, uh, may be on a price chart. Of course, I'll you know, our default really should be, you know, looking for bargains, right? But sometimes we don't get the bargains and, you know, price may come down to, you know, fair value. Now, one of the ways to establish um, uh, fair value is um, is by uh, lower highs or uh, lower highs and lower lows or higher lows and higher highs. So what I mean by that is this, is um, you've got, uh, you know, uh, a... Um, a move higher, lower, and then higher, right? Now we know instinctively, yeah, well we should know by uh, by the training that this the move from uh, from here to here, right? That that move up that breaks the previous high, yeah, or you know the lower high, lower lows, lower highs, which is basically this uh, lower highs, lower lows, right? What that's telling us is that this move to the upside from here to here prices was such a bargain that prices move past the previous expensive area because this move to this this low to this high that was an expensive area it was proven because prices pulled back right then prices came up broke past the previous expensive area and it's made a new high right so when we're looking for a pullback now let's say yeah I'm looking for a pullback then this is the reason why we look for demand zones because demand zones um, you know are previous uh, bargain prices yeah because like I said this was such a bargain that it made a new high broke past the previous expensive area if price pulls back to this previous you know uh, area where prices went higher that's where you want to get involved in into into a um, you know uh, into a trade or the first uh, trade now what uh, you know uh, and, that, and that's really where the, the the auction is right the, the the bargain is until we make you know potentially a new high so if you're looking at this now as an area where you can see prices come up and you know nobody knows whether prices will make new highs or not but we know that price this was an ex the, the, the last previous expensive area now will this be expensive yeah will it will it not we don't know um in the short term if over the long term we probably do know because we understand you know fundamental analysis and price should want to you know go higher right if you've got up you know forecast bank forecast etc so you know that's understanding bargains now understanding fair value um you know between an expensive area if we know that to be an expensive area and it's to be a bargain price yeah then 50 percent you know pullback between an, a bargain price and expensive price is um is fair it's known as fair value right that is a fair value price between the bargain price and an expensive price and so you know one of the things that you want to do is just look towards um, trading around fair value and so you know I derive my value um, from looking at higher time frames like the daily right the daily is just you know the standard um, um, to, to understand where I am from a fair value perspective and so again one of the ways we look at um, and establish fair values is trying to establish uh, a higher low and a higher high seeing where prices are so again this is made higher lows higher highs right so you've got you know move higher pull back and then it's made a new you know bullish candle high right there so this area here would be the you know the um the uh, start of the, the the bargain because price has made a new high from this previous high, right? That previous high there. And so when we zoom 
in now, or when we're looking at fair value uh, or intraday trades, try to trade around range or clear range auction, um, uh, at least fair value, yeah, because ultimately, you know, that's what we're looking at doing. So when we zoom in now to like the hourly, um, you know, we have established at least. Uh, what's potentially a stop hunt uh, setup? You can see where the auction is, but also it coincides. And let me go back out to the daily again. Also, this coincides with. You know, basically just uh, just delete this. Yeah, we can get just a simple fib tool. Right, I, I call it the value range tool. Um, but grab a uh, fib tool. Put fifty percent. You know, on low. Um, uh, 50%, 100% and obviously zero. And then you can drag it up to the top and you can see where fair value is. Fair value is gonna be the, you know, the, the line between um, the middle, right? Between that high and that low. And so that's where you start to see now that if I'm trading an intraday setup, for example, you know, a stop hunt potential setup here, which looks very nice, then you, you know, you can, um, uh, at least have the confidence that you're buying at a decent valuation because you don't want to buy at highs, right? You don't ever want to buy around here, you know what I mean? Because, um, again, there's reasons for this, you know, liquidity. Um, first of all, you don't want to buy, you just don't want to be a buyer at highs and lows, but you're leaving yourself exposed to, you know, um, you know, uh, traders who have bought down here and now are taking profit up here and you're just waiting for, you know, a bit more of a valuation to, 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 to rebuy, right? So, you know, first things first is just understanding that this is um, the first um, or well, one of the ways to establish uh, trading at fair value and ignoring trade setups that are above fair value, right? So fair value is almost like your, your, your you know, your, your baseline, right? The second way is looking at moving fair value and, you know, we, um, you know, which is basically moving averages. Now, um, you know, moving average doesn't mean a lot to, you know, probably 99.9% .9 of people other than, you know, um, uh, buying, um, you know, crosses and pullbacks and acting and, and it acting as dynamic uh, support or resistance, right? So when prices cross above, then, you know, you tend to get, you know, um, a bounce off it, right? So we see one here, right? Where prices came down, bounced off of the, um, you know, monthly moving fair value. Now, um, again, if, you know, uh, this is obviously another way of, of establishing fair value. Now, for example, we had the, um, the what was it, the Euro Swiss, right? Euro Swiss. And I was saying that on a, um, a higher time frame, you know, daily time frame, that um, I think there was like a potential stop hunt setup that, that may have set up around the highs. So let's, I can't remember, I think it was Kenny posted it. There was a potential for uh, this to be a you know a, a stop hunt. Sorry, let me uh, let me just get this. Which again is 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 fine, but because um, you know we do have um, moving fair value you know below us. Also as well, we have um, a bit of an unfair auction below us as well. Which is you know being partially completed, but from a fair value perspective, um, I'm not you know personally trading around uh, this area as we haven't got the monthly you know moving fair value, and um, and also as well if we take um, you know the move from the low yeah so the move started from this low to this high yeah we've only now established at least some sort of you know fair value from a you know an auctioning uh, perspective so now is the time that you can start to look towards um you know intraday setups even if you don't see any you know supply or demand zones any demand zones here at least if prices now start to do something you know where it sets up you know produces some sort of um uh, stop hunt or cpr in and around this area at least you know from a daily perspective you was buying at fair value now again is fair value the best price to um, 
to, to, to trade at, of course, or to buy at. Of course not. It's you know you're just saying that it's uh, it's an okay price, but um, yeah, that's where you want to try to avoid higher time frame. You know, because this is expensive, and wait for that because prices will always pull back. Always, 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 always pull back to some sort of established fair value. And so, um, yeah, as I was saying, you know that in in the uh, in the picture that I posted in the group, uh, price is still quite expensive, and um, it was really when oh, I sort of really had it here at the setup, um, and it says it still has not reached the monthly moving fair value. If you're taking setups, try to take either either from around moving fair values or RSI extremes, um, just so that you have an idea of currency valuation, but also as well, um, at least um, I should have added in there auction. Um, you know, lower highs, lower lows, higher lows, higher highs, and obvious ones on the daily. Yeah. So again, establishing the higher low, higher high on the daily, looking at a decent pullback. Yeah. Um, and obvious higher low, higher highs as well, and establishing um, you know fair value on that first, um, or one of you know those um, uh, fair value you know markers before looking at then going down into you know an intraday time frame and it's trying to establish you know um, any kind of uh, intraday uh, setups whether they be the CPR or the um, or the uh, or the stop hunt yeah and even um even certain demand zones you know might not be um, great because if you do have um, Actually, I won't get into that now, but just understand that you just don't want to trade at highs. Yeah, no trading at highs. So, yep. Yeah, so the first marker then is the uh, is the is the auction, the range, uh, low high or high low establishing first, then looking for a pullback to 50 percent of that or and um, looking at if you want to, you know, combine it with monthly moving fair values, um, uh, you know, you, you can have that in conjunction with. The range or it's just one or the other right either or but normally when you have especially when you have the monthly moving fair value then you should have at least the auction fair value so uh so yeah guys just keep that in mind when you're looking at intraday trades